I am a maid who carries water, fearing punishments and the insults of my house owner. I have always gone down to the river to get water, even in the coldest of weather. I didn't want to get blamed for any error. But Brahmin, who do you fear that makes you go down to the river every morning and evening? It's so cold that your body shivers. Punna, why do you ask me this when you already know the answer? When I am at the river, I am washing away evil and performing wholesome deeds. Whoever, young or old, has committed an evil action is able to be freed from evil by bathing in water. Brahmin, you have no idea about the results of Kama. Who is the ignorant person who taught that you can be freed from evil by bathing in water? He doesn't know and doesn't see the results of Kama. Now listen, if your opinion is true, then all frogs, turtles, alligators, crocodiles, and all water creatures will absolutely go to heaven. If your opinion is true, then all sheep butchers, pig butchers, fishermen, animal abusers, thieves, executioners, and other evil doers are all able to be freed from their evil actions by bathing in water. If these rivers wash away the evil you previously did, then won't it wash away your next merit too? In that case, you would be without merit too. Brahmin, every day you go down to the river fearing evil, don't you? In that case, just don't do bad things. Don't let the cold strike your skin. Oh, wise girl, I had entered upon the wrong path, but you have guided me onto the noble path by rescuing me from this pointless bathing. I will give you this piece of cloth as a gift. Keep the piece of cloth for yourself. I don't want it. If you are afraid of suffering, if suffering is unpleasant to you, do not commit evil actions, either openly or in secret. But if you commit or will commit evil actions, then there is no escape from suffering. If you try to run away and hide from the result, if you are afraid of suffering, if suffering is unpleasant for you, then go for refuge to the Buddha, who has an unshaken mind, the Dhamma and the Sangha. Observe the precepts. These will definitely lead to your well-being. I will go for refuge to the Buddha, who has an unshaken mind, the Dhamma and the Sangha. I will observe the precepts. These will definitely lead to my well-being. Previously, I was called Brahmabandhu because I was born into the clan of Brahmins. But now, I am truly a Brahmin. I attain the triple knowledge. I achieve Nibbana. I entered the wholesomeness. And I am washed clean. These verses were said by Arahat Nan Punna.